Welcome back to Bullshit Creepy Pasta Storytime, where I've been trying to do a better job of delivering stories after it occurred to me last year, after the spooky events in October. I kind of just didn't do one of these for most of a year. So I'm trying to get better, and with that in mind, I come bearing another story. This one was actually going to be a part of the Halloween special, except I left an air conditioner on in the background and ruined the audio and then felt really dumb afterwards and speaking of feeling really dumb afterwards today on bullshit creepypasta story time i'm gonna tell you the horrific tale the tale you've never heard of the tale you wish you had never heard just because it's so scary and not at all stupid and that tale is the fallout effect which is a fallout creepypasta that's done in like diary entries so uh so here we go i'm I'm gonna i'm gonna read someone's fake diary for you all uh june 17th 2012 oh the year that uh the world was gonna end that's a great place to start and it's so original it's my 10th birthday and i can't believe i have to put up with this crap you're a horrible 10 year old i hate my dad you're a horrible 10 year old why would he make such a stupid decision why did he move into this stupid vivo bunker when i was a baby it's my birthday today well then you're not a baby anymore Congrats. Uh, And instead of having fun and playing outside like a regular kid, I get to eat some crappy tasting cake in a cramped cafeteria. Welcome to life, author, in diary form. Almost everyone here is either a complete whack job or a jerk. There is zero in between, apparently. The only real friend I have is Amata. Uh, fictional character. I can always count on her. It's times like this, I think that I wouldn't be in this situation if it weren't for mom dying. Is this just the beginning of Fallout 3? Because so far it sounds like it. Uh, Thank God, really, though, because I've been praying, oh God, I wish someone would write a story that self-inserts themselves into the opening of Fallout 3. I've been waiting for this day all my life. Uh, But I I think it was her death that drove Dad to make us move down here. Uh, My party's gonna start in about an hour, and hopefully Dad at least managed to find me something decent. Also, I just want to say about the moving down here thing, um, if I remember correctly, aren't you born in a vault, and that is where you're supposed to die? So doesn't that mean you were born in the vault? I could be wrong on that, absolutely. I'm just throwing it out there. But June 25th, 2012, I think Dad's gone crazy. Again, he gave me a fucking gun. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it down in this vault. Probably shoot stuff would be my go-to guess, but he doesn't seem to care. Mr. Alma Dover, or the Overseer, as he likes to call himself, gave me a pretty cool digital watch. It's gigantic and has a screen on it and weighs 2,000 tons. I wear it so much, it's like it's welded to my wrist. I got nothing of value from anyone else. Not even that gun? December 28, 2012. Oh no. We're so close. It's past the day of the apocalypse. (laughs) Didn't wait very long for that, huh? And nothing has happened. Big surprise. My dad keeps insisting that the end will soon be upon us and that I should be thankful I'm in such a protected place. I try to convince him he's mad, but he won't pay me any mind. No mind. 
February 13th, 2014. I sneaked into my dad's office today. <laughs> I'm a rebel. Him being the vault's only dentist, ew. He has information on all the residents. Because dentists keep very thorough records on what everyone's up to when they're not dentisting. I figured I might be able to get some inside information on Christine. Who's Christine? By accessing his computer. Why are you looking up information on his computer about Christine? I found nothing and was about to leave before I noticed his personal journals were left open. And I seemingly accidentally picked it up and I read the most recent entry. Whoops, mistakes. The Novocaine transport pipe has leaked at point 323XY3. A constant supply of Novocaine is being added to the air supply. Cool. <laughs> Due to the security and health implications of repairing it, we have decided to leave it be. What's the worst that could happen? The dosage is said to be small enough to have no effect on residents. See? I couldn't understand most of what he was talking about. Mostly because I couldn't read. Not even sure how I got the quote. I heard his footsteps approaching. I'd know those footsteps anywhere. So I quickly ran back to my room. January 16th. 2015. You're only doing like one journal entry a year now. I was incredibly bored one day, so I wrote in my journal. As I was most days, though. So I decided to snoop around my dad's office. That is apparently the only fun spot to hang out. <laughs> Maybe he has information on Christine. It's been a year since I looked. He has a bobblehead with a huge medical syringe on his desk for some reason. Oh, wow. You mean like in Fallout 3? Take it. Take it. Take it. You get an achievement for it. And also, you, you, your medicine skills go up. But uh, I found his journals again and uh, decided to read because nothing else is going on. The gap has slowly widened over the last year. You shouldn't open up a journal entry with that. Oh, the Novogain doses are increasing. At this level, we expect minor brain damage. <laughs> what? How? It's like that song, Give Me Novocaine. Give me minor brain damage. I warned Alphonse Elric, the alchemist, of the implications, but he's gotten mad with power, and then he clapped his hands together, and then he pulled weapons from the floor. Uh, at this rate, the leak is doomed to increase in size. Permanent brain damage will be the result. Also, everyone's gonna be real loopy, sleepy, walking into each other, walking into walls. It's gonna be weird. I wouldn't be surprised if hallucinations, though, start to set in after enough time has passed. I hope to God things resolve themselves. Because you know what they say, don't do anything and everything will probably just work out all by itself without you intervening at all. That's what mom used to taught me. I don't know what Novocaine was. <laughs> Use Google, author. But I sure knew what brain damage was. <laughs> I had a lot of experience in that. My head's always getting hit. I immediately confronted my dad. Dad, I don't know how to read. Also, I wanted to know about what he wrote and how he could read it. He passed it off as a novel he was writing. A bad novel. A novel that's never going to get published. It explains things better than it being true. I'll choose to believe it for now. Ignorance is bliss. And I'm the captain of it. August 4th. 2017, getting a little infrequent with these journal entries. Uh, I'm suffering from what I believe are terrible hallucinations. Maybe. I could be hallucinating that, though. I keep seeing giant cockroaches, and my watch has become oddly high-tech. I remember vaguely my dad's journal talking about this. Talking about your big, weird watch? So I ran to his office and started reading. I 
wonder if they have any information on Christine. I'm sure of it. Everyone is going mad from the Nova game. Everyone wants to go see a dentist, but there's not enough. They're going insane. They're starting to fabricate things in their senses. The terrifying thing is that these hallucinations even penetrate one's memories. It's as if completely... Oh, I'm sorry. It's as if it completely alters your perception. I'm so sorry. A bunch of Novocaine got in my system. Made me forget to read like two words. But everything is livable. Livable. No one is crazy beyond reason. Everyone's a little insane. But if things persist to an unbearable point, I'll be forced to try and repair the pipe myself. I should have done this years ago now that I think about it. This was ridiculous. Why would Dad say such things? And how did he say such things? He never taught me the reading thing, and Mom died, so I don't know how to read. The giant roaches have always been there, though. Always. That's what I do with the gun. They gave me my birthday, remember? Ever since I was born, I even shot one at my birthday. See? Author's going insane. Andy, the robot, had worked at Dad's office for years. He was even at my party. You said your party sucked. Read back your journal, author. The sheer implications he was making that people were starting to go crazy, it's just preposterous. Now you're going to tell me that they're going to release Skyrim again. What do you mean they already released Skyrim again? September 24th, 2018. Today is the day of the big test. I'm really excited. I hope I'll become a laundry cannon operator. Oh, or maybe a pit boy programmer. A watch programmer. That would be so cool. Welcome. I better get going. I don't want to be late. Hopefully, I won't run into Butch and the tunnel snakes on my way there. Yeah, be a shame if Butch got punched in the face. Uh, March 11, 2021. Jesus. What year is this story from? Uh, I found a note from my father. Son, the vault is uh, falling into ruin. Might be my fault. I need to try my best to repair the Novocaine pipe. For... I should have done it a really long time ago. Now that I think about it. Uh, for some reason, though, I'm not the only one not affected by the gas. Oh, wait. For some reason, I am the only one not affected by the gas. That He's the most affected by the gas. But if I don't succeed or something goes wrong, I'm leaving the vault. What? Uh, son, you mustn't leave. You need to stay there and die like everyone else and be crazy. Everyone in the vault has gone homicidal. That's all the more reason for you to stay in the vault, son. And I don't know what they'll do to you. So stay there. I'm not even sure if I can understand this letter or if you can understand this letter. But just know that I love you. Also, don't leave the murderous vault. And uh, he says, dad is so silly. As murderous people. March 12th, 2021. Amada woke me up. Fan fiction. She said there was a lockdown. Officers were patrolling the halls and my father had escaped. Apparently, there's a door outside. Who would have thought? She gave me a pistol and ran off. My God. I see what's happened. Novocaine. My father wasn't crazy. He was telling the truth. He was trying to save us all. Everything I knew was a figment of my own creation. The ridiculous uniforms everyone wore. Those weren't real. The giant cockroaches. Those were probably weird cats. The robot doctor. It was probably a regular doctor in a cardboard box. It was all so ridiculous. How could I have been so stupid? Don't take it too hard. You're creepypasta author. Frankly, you didn't have a chance. I ran out of my room, determined to escape with my father. I cut a path.
path of blood along the way, shooting what I thought were giant roaches and officers. Who knew if they were real or not? Question mark. Who knows? I shot the overseer in cold blood. You know, I'm glad you wrote all this down. So that way, if someone goes over the crime scene later, they have all this evidence to look at. That's real nice. And walked away from the sobbing form that was Amada. Get that, Amada. I gotta go do stuff. Find my dad. Save the world from Novocaine. The exit to the vault was just within reach. I could feel my mind on fire. Everything warped before my eyes. I collapsed to the ground. <laughs> I got a tummy ache and I fell down. Date unknown. I woke up at the entrance to the vault. I still had my uniform. I still had my Pip-Boy watch thingy. It was all the same. Did you have your gun? Eh? I looked around. A barren landscape extended for miles. I was free of the vault, yet everything remained the same. And oh, everything was brown too. Wow. Look at all this stuff. And broken. How could this be? It hit me. It's all real. I was saying, clearly, my, my father was the crazy one. He's a dentist. I had entered into a new post-apocalyptic world, and it was mine for the taking. I felt unstoppable. I picked up a radio signal on my watch pit boy thing and started running through the scorch field. On the horizon was what appeared to be a shanty town of some sort. I had a good feeling about this. I was on top of the world. I was unstoppable. I was the lone wanderer. Hey, is that a nuke? Uh, subject 134 is one of our most interesting cases. Says some text that's not actually connected to the story because I guess that technically ended. But uh, we have no name for him. But he calls himself the Lone Wanderer. Or we like to call him Douchebag around the office just because we think it's funny. But he was found running around the D.C. area screaming, shouting, and talking to random foliage. As you do. He was also reported to be seen shooting at wildlife with a BB gun. As you tend to do. Upon closer interrogation, he insists upon thinking he's in a post-apocalyptic landscape. He insists upon calling me Lucas Sims, the sheriff of some place he calls Megaton. <laughs> he's a walking, talking fan fiction. He keeps telling us that his cell is a house I provided him with upon defusing the bomb in the center of town, which is ridiculous because I don't even think I, he'd have the stats for that at that point in the game. But uh, the bomb he is referring to is what I believe to be uh, the sculpture in the courtyard, which is like a bomb of history. We let him out occasionally. He always has the same reaction. He insists upon being in an apocalyptic world. Who's to say we're not already? We have no idea where he came from. <laughs> if his parents read this, please come get him. He appeared to pop out of nowhere. All we know for sure is that he shows little hope for him. <sighs> All right. Um, well, that wasn't a very good story. Both because, I mean, that was the beginning of Fallout 3, except worse. And two, what is the ending of the story supposed to imply? Like, like also, Novocaine? <laughs> I'm never going to the dentist again. If they put... If they use Novocaine, I'm gonna think I'm in Fallout 3. Or at least the beginning part of Fallout 3. And I don't think you can skip that. Although I do think you can escape the vault as a child. So, that's something. That's my only takeaway from the story. I don't... Uh, yeah. Is... You know what? Maybe the real truth of the fallout effect 
was all the Fallout games they made along the way. Which isn't a large amount. Get to work on a new one. This has been bullshit creepy pasta story time. Thank you for watching. Hello and welcome back to End Slate, where you thought the video was over, but it's not, because End Slate. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video, and uh, also Merry Christmas, or Merry Christmas-ish. It's around that period, so I'm gonna count it. I hope everyone has a lovely holiday season, uh, unless you don't celebrate, at which point I hope you have a lovely couple a, a lovely day or a week or something like that uh stay safe uh uh love you all and uh stay safe god damn also happy new year i guess if you're into that sort of thing and follow time uh if you uh, i hope you like the video the new bullshit creep bus story time on the fallout effect or whatever the story was called i can't remember which is probably for the best um uh, if you like the video, like it. If you, hey, if you dislike the video, dislike it. Oh, what's that? You, you can't see dislikes anymore. Wow, that's fucking stupid. I'm just throwing that out there. That uh, didn't bother me. Uh, but yeah, uh, I have social media stuff. My Twitch link is apparently broken, and I do not know why. I just... But when you click it, it doesn't fucking work. But I stream over there. I'm not streaming right now while I'm recording this end slate. Because I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I got, you know, the Patreon and the Twitter. And I have Facebook. I don't like Facebook, though, as a website. Or, or the Metaverse, whatever the fuck it's called. Anyways, Merry Christmas, everyone. Love you all. Thank you for putting up with my shit. And I will see you in the next year. That is 2000 billion to two. It's going to be 2022. Actually, I just looked at it. I want to say three. See you next time on Netflix.